marine environments are facing drastic changes in the future. To investigate the combined impact of climate change, natural variability, and human influences, the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research established the National Marine Research Program, Mara N, Coastal, Marine, and Polar Research for Sustainability in 2016, under the umbrella of the Research for Sustainable Development Framework Program. With its six interdisciplinary topics and two cross-sectional activities, Mara N addresses all aspects of marine research. Mara N is the basic funding framework program of our ministry to fund coastal, marine and polar research activities. We provide to our excellent scientists state-of-the-art research infrastructure. For example, Germany has one of the most modern fleets for research vessels in the world. Institutional funding as well as the project funding of marine research and of course our marine research activities are embedded in an international as well as European research agenda. Mara N Research will support the implementation of both EU directives and the UN's 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development to deliver solutions for politics and society to protect and sustainably use our oceans in the future. The program supports several national and international marine research efforts, including the Regional Atlantic Circulation and Global Change Program, RACE. Under global warming, the Atlantic circulation will change severely and it will have grave impacts on the climate system and also on sea level in Western Europe, but also in North America. RACE maintains five long-term transport time series in key regions of the Atlantic circulation and these enabled us for the first time to quantify the mean of the circulation. But we also found out that there is a large variability from days to even several years which were unknown so far. We could also illuminate the vast progress which has been made in the realistic simulation of the Atlantic circulation. In typical climate models, this freshwater invading in the key region determines the strength of the Atlantic circulation. But in the Viking model, most of this freshwater stays in the boundary current around this key region and only later into a very small fraction invades in the key region. The Viking simulation was recently confirmed by observations measuring fresh water in the Labrador Sea. In addition to ocean research, Mara N also supports studies into the impact of human and natural forces on our coastal regions, including the development of new protective measures for coasts worldwide. The research programs by BMBF not just focus on fundamental research, but applied research. So what are the effects of waves and tidal currents on marine infrastructure, sediment entrainment and transport in coastal environments, ecosystem services of plants like salt marshes or seagrass meadows for the level of protection of coastlines. We deal with capacity building efforts that say the experiences and also technologies from Germany can be implemented in developing countries in order to sustain their future. We focused on the city of Padang that is on the shores of Sumatra. We looked into tsunami inundation and contrasted this, how the city needs to be evacuated due to an, say, incoming tsunami that will hit the city of Padang within 50 to 20 minutes. Coastal dynamics are not only studied in temperate and tropical regions, but also in the Arctic, one of the least studied areas on Earth, including the impact of permafrost thaw on coastal Arctic waters. The permafrost thaw impacts the global climate and the Arctic Ocean. In September 2019, Mosaic, the largest central Arctic expedition in the world, will be launched. The Arctic region is one of the fastest warming regions of Earth. The losses of sea ice that we observe is not well predicted, not well described by our current Earth system models. And we suspect that the lack of observation, the lack of knowledge about the Arctic winter is a key problem. The Mosaic expedition is about setting up a multidisciplinary observatory for the study of Arctic climate. 
It means that we will freeze in our icebreaker polar stern for a year to drift along with the sea ice across the North Pole. And we will host 600 scientists from 17 different countries to carry out studies about how the winter influences Arctic climate. And it's also a big logistical challenge. We need to make sure that 600 people are exchanged throughout the year. We need a runway on the ever thinning sea ice. We need to provide fuel and food all of the time. And we need to make sure that everyone comes home safe. Thanks to the hundreds of researchers involved in Mara N studies and the vast amount of data collected, marine research in Germany will make a vital contribution to the discourse on our ocean's future with policymakers and the public around the globe. In 2016, we started an open dialogue involving all the stakeholders, scientists, the representatives of civil organizations, business people, as well as governmental experts. And by this open dialogue, we tried to identify research fields relevant to all these stakeholders, but as well as systemic solutions to the challenge of sustainable polar and marine research. Germany is very proud to support the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development from 2021 to 2030 and we are very proud to host the kickoff event in Germany. <laughs>